I mean, I don't, I don't mind because he was so wrong with the braids. I don't, I, that you want to take it off? Don't do that. Don't yeah. you? I mean, oh I mean, you know, I mean, why can't I? So, is it just me or this pop the balloon activity is kind of eh, like? I don't know. Sometimes I'm just like, so you will go and let you walk into a room and men will be there and they'll be popping by them because once they see you walking, they don't like you and you, you have to go and meet them. I don't know. It's kind of, I don't know. What is your take on this pop, pop the volume thing? I saw a particular episode. And this one got very interesting because I personally don't really watch it because I kind of... It's kind it's giving me desperado. I'm desperate for man, right? Anyways, I saw this particular one. I saw this lady, she took off her wig just because one of the guys was like, I want to see what's underneath your head. You all, she took it off. She took her, her wig off. <laughs> hey, let me show you this video. Uh, that would be no problem for me. I think that... Uh... I just drew, drew a blank right now. Uh, that okay. that would be no problem for me. I'd actually would uh, appreciate you coming with different styles and looking a different way. As uh, far as the weight fluctuation, it didn't look like you would have too much of that going on. So. Thank you. And the activities I love to do, uh, that would probably prevent you from even you know, gaining weight. I, I, I don't know why you'd ask that. You look great. but um, Well, I'm asking because, you know, I, ha I mean, I don't, I don't mind because he was so wrong with the braids. I don't. You want to take it off? Don't do that. Don't yeah. you? I mean, oh I mean, you know, I mean, why can't I? So. You still look good. You still look good. Still look good. Uh, yeah. So should I keep it off or? Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, lost the earring. Um, well, I'm glad but yeah, so that's yeah, why I asked because I'm always changing my hair. I go from short. I just was bald a few months ago. I have super long hair. I do all types of things, and typically I do natural. But you know, I came on the show today, so I was like, all right, let yeah. me try to yeah. do a little something. But this is this is me, so I just want to make sure you're okay with me and who I am. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Let's head on back. Let's I, sorry, head I had on to back. do it. No, you look good. You look yeah, good. I did it for you. <laughs> you talking about I had braids? I'm like braids. What braids? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so our two remaining guys, any questions? Where do you live? I live in Florida, Fort Lauderdale to be exact. Where do you live? Vegas. Oh, okay, so you wouldn't be willing to do long distance temporarily? Too far. Well, I mean, because, listen, I'm I'll, grounded. I'll move for I'm love. At. I'm just saying, I'll move for love. I, the dating pool, there's fecal matter in it right now. <laughs> So I can't be so picky anymore. I used to be super picky. Uh, he can't be bald. He can't be this. I'm, I'm, yeah, I've had long distance the balloon relationship. Back. Okay, let's get that balloon back. <laughs> and I'm serious. I'm looking at you. I'm you looking, looking at me? You see I'm me? I'm looking at okay. you. Yeah. <laughs> and I got three kids as well. Well, yeah. Brady Bunch, huh? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. I don't have an issue with that. I prefer men with kids. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let me walk you on up. Come on up here. Let's, uh, you could Come if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that was, was an accident. accident. We know that was an accident. He tried to catch it. <laughs> All right. So I have a final question. If there's no other questions between the two of you. What's the question? All right. No so question. then is it a yes for you for her? It's a yes. Uh, is it a yes for you for him? It's a yes. We got a man. <laughs> I'll take this Aww. mic and you guys can go on up. Oh, I give it up for them, y'all. <laughs> you have kids? I do. I was married for 11 years, so I had three wonderful children. Um, I have a cordial relationship with my ex-husband. We do 50-50, so whoever my partner is, he honestly doesn't. The, a week, my kids are gone. <laughs> a week, they come back with me. So um, they have a very active father. So that wouldn't be a concern if that is a concern, because that tends to be a concern at times. Do you want more kids? I'm open to more kids. Yeah. Yeah. I snap back. Okay. I Did mean, end up popping? I, I don't want no more kids. I don't. I, I'm open to it. Open to I'm it. I'm open to it. I'm but not. to be honest, <laughs> I do have three. But that would be a decision that we would have to make. You don't want no more. Neither do I. I didn't say I want. It's mm. not a it's not a need for me. Mm. I already have three. 
But for example, I'm open to it if the, my partner wants it. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm not open though. <laughs> and that's and, fine. And that's what and I'm telling you. I got you. two kids. Yeah, that's you know cool. That's cool with Just me. Fuck them kids after that. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no, no. I don't know about F them kids. <laughs> but I'm totally open. If I don't need to have any more. I understand. But I'm open to it if my partner is. But I, I respect it. Have y'all seen this clip from the balloon popping show that's on YouTube? I'm not really big on like weave and if I can see a braid. Uh, and then like, like the, I can see the bump in the back. I don't mind because he was so wrong with the braids. I don't, I, that, you want to take it off? Don't do that. Yeah, don't you, I mean, oh I mean, you know, I mean, why can't I? So, you still look good. So should I keep it off or? Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> what sexuality best explains men who go out of their way to let women know that they don't like us? Like, and I'm not talking about like being gay. Like there has to be a Pacific sexuality for men who go out of their spicy ass ways to let us know that they don't like us. For you to sit there and try to embarrass this girl over something that what that didn't even exist, and even if it did exist, like what man cares about your braids under your wigs? What, what man, like where do these men be at? As, as a matter of fact, I don't wanna know. I don't know, I, I don't wanna know where these puss ass men be at cause I, I don't want any dealings with a man like this. But I really need to know the sexual, like we need to name this group of men who goes out of their way to let women know that they don't like us. Specifically, you black men who go on this Pacific show to specifically let black women specifically know that y'all don't like us. Like, what are we grouping y'all as? Like, I need to know. I need to know. I need to know. Even she's very desperate because you can see the way she's answering questions. She doesn't want to tell you what she wants. She wants to tell you what you want to hear. So she's kind of like the other guy that was asking her that, are you open to more kids? And she's like, yeah, I'm open to more kids. And the guy popped up by the machine. No, 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 no. If you don't want kids, it's okay by me. She doesn't, like, even she doesn't know what she wants. She wants what she wants. She's desperate for a partner. And I feel like she's going to earn in disaster because as a woman i'm seeing it that way i cannot just imagine what those men are seeing over there i'm saying i'm going to take you if you just want me because right now i feel like i'm not wanted she's very beautiful to settle she's so pretty i feel like i don't know i don't know is it just me but the fact that you took off a wig <sighs> ladies ladies why why, why? Let them wonder what's underneath your head. Why would you take off your wig in a show outside in public like that? When it's not that there's something itching you or there's there's an insect has entered your head or there's fire on the mountain. There's no fire on the mountain. Like what, what do you want to show? If they don't like you the way you appear like that, let them don't like you. Other people are going to like you. <sighs> No, but when I see this type of shows, especially this show, this particular show, this one, I see it as women are very desperate. Women that goes there are very desperate. And I respect these women because I personally, I'll get very offended. <laughs> I can't get very offended. Like, why would you talk to me that way? Why would you tell me? I can't get very offended. But the way they are calm and the way they listen to questions, they answer questions, I'm like, eh? Eh? If I was the one, yeah, you... I would have gotten very offended. Like, why would you talk to me that way? Why would you say that? Like, who are you? Who do you think you are? <laughs> but these women, I don't know. I see them. I see them as they're very desperate because the kind of thing that they take in, ah, there's not women that can take it. And again, this particular one, this particular episode, this lady just decided to settle. And she's pretty. I love her energy anyway. But then, ah, I don't know. Like the response on that video of that creator saying that when a man tells you they don't like you, they say it already. Like they've said it already. But then it's, it's just desperate. It's just desperation. 
that's just what I see. That's just what I sense. And I don't get it. I don't get it why you have to do that. You're taking care of yourself with three kids. Why do you need that? And in fact, she was, there was a time she even said, she can't even do 50-50. You don't have to take care of my kids. <sighs> is it that crazy out there? Like, <laughs> is it dirty? I don't know what to say, to be honest. I just see this as, like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> what is your take? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. That's right, sweetie. <laughs> And thank you so much for tuning in in today's video. I hope you enjoyed this one. Check out Mara Davis and I'll see you in my next one. <laughs>